Oh. That's that uh, wriggling wreck thingy. What does it do? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to know. Ah! Oh, shit! <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am uh, the Bearded OG, and we are going to continue our adventure here uh, in this awesome, awesome game. Uh, before we get started, though, hope you guys enjoy this episode. And if you do, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you have already subscribed, I greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's get started here. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of uh, R&D here. Um, and with, with the power that we brought back, we have 2.5 thingamadoodles of power. Um, so let's see. I think we were in the last episode. I think we wanted to do this matter deconstructor, but we, oh, we need, we need a, a gear. Okay. So let's do that. Um, actually, hold on. You know what I would, uh, what I would like to do for the cars, I'd like to get the, all the panels upgraded to steel, but I'm almost thinking... Maybe we should see if we can upgrade to off-road tires, just because that's going to help us, you know, get around off-road a little bit better. Um, so we could learn, or even, yeah, even just learning summer tires. Okay, so I think we're going to do that. Let's do summer tire. Um, because we have a couple of, uh, we have at least one spare tire in the car, and spare tire sucks. Okay, and then can we also do off-road? We can. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so let's learn that. Um, if we don't have enough points, you know, to do the matter deconstructor thing in Madoodle, we can, you know, we can do that next time. I, I think what I'd really like to do is focus on the car mostly uh, for starters here. Uh, so, yeah, okay, well, let's just hold, keep keep that in mind. Now, uh, the other thing is, is can we do, and then we learn steel door, right? Can we do steel panel? We can. Oh, nice. Okay. Whoops. Grab this. Oh, well, okay. There we go. All right. And then what about steel bumper? Uh, back to here. We have to learn crude bumper first. Lead plated bumper. Um... There was another special kind of bumper that I was looking at in here earlier. Uh, I'm trying to remember where that was. I think it was under electrical. Uh, was it, though? Hold on. Oh, this lightning rod would be kind of cool. Uh, oh, we're out of energy. Okay, never mind. I guess we're done. Uh, but basically what this does is it recharges your battery. But there was another thing... Yeah, I think it was in here. This limb pulse emitter thing, um, what it does is it, it, it well, here, let's just read it. Uh, this is not a pun. It's a carefully calibrated device capable of discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. This generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electromagnetic entities to hold on to or harm the vehicle. Um... Oh, we gotta we gotta scan a bunny first for that. Okay, I don't know if I've ran into those on camera with you guys. I did run into them um, when I was doing you know some of the looting. And we, by the way, we gotta we gotta start doing some more scanning too. But anyway, we've learned everything we can learn for now. So the, the next question is, can we can we make four off road tires? Yeah, we should be able to because we have plenty of metal and rubber and the gears we can make. Okay, so that being the case, um, what I'm going to do is let's remove all of these tires and I'll, I'll use the, the vacuum to suck them up. And actually, 
I'd like to maybe keep us one summer tire as a as a spare instead of a spare tire as a spare because it takes up the same amount of space. Okay. So what we're going to do is grab this spare tire and just throw it down there for now. Let's grab a summer tire that's in the best condition, which I guess this one is. Um, there, and that'll be that'll be our backup. Okay. I don't know if I showed this to you guys or not, but I've, I, I've really changed my mind about this vacuum because it basically will pick up everything on the floor. I may have showed that to you in the last episode, I'm not sure. And then it just kind of stores it in here. I don't know if there's a limit to how much stuff you can store in here, but it's it's actually pretty damn useful. <laughs> More useful than I gave it credit for at first. Um, okay. It does... I wish it didn't pick up the transfer trunk, but it does, so... I like to keep that there. That doesn't have anything in it, does it? No. Okay. Um, all right. So now let's go ahead and craft ourselves four off-road tires. Um, oh, I think I had to make the... There we go. Yeah, I had to make the gear first. Oh, those are cool looking too, man. I love it. And I think this is just going to help us get around a lot better, you know, uh, because we do have to go off road at times and those tire other tires just suck for that. There we go. Oh, the other thing I discovered too is here, I'll show you this in the next, uh, when we make the next tire. It was kind of confused me at first, but if you are missing a prerequisite, in this case, a gear, if you just hold this button down, it'll make the gear first and then it'll make the tire. So very useful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. All right, that's already a huge improvement. Okay, now, um, all of our doors are steel, but we need five steel panels. Do we have everything we need to make five steel panels? Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, I think we do. Okay. So there's the first one. Oh, you know what we need to do, though? Here, set that down on the ground for a minute. We need to remove the old panels, and we can have the vacuum pick them up. Okay, and then we'll grab the steel panel here. And this will substantially upgrade our vehicle. So enjoying this game, you guys, so much. It is really fun. Okay. Oh, I forgot to take that panel off. Okay, we'll grab it. Just throw that on the floor. We'll get the vacuum to pick it up. Okay, so we need... Uh, one, one more, right? Yeah, one more. Makes the steel sheet first that we needed. Fan frickin' tastic. Okay, can we make a a normal headlight? Yep. Let's um, remove that. This, I think, I'll... Well, yeah, let's just... We'll just pick it up with the vacuum for now. Zapola. Nice clean floor. I love it. <laughs> it's so awesome. Okay, so 
Yeah, massive improvement uh, on the vehicle. I'd like to get the, you know, focus on the bumpers next. Um, we didn't, did we, wait, did we learn steel bumper? No, we didn't. Okay. So we'll have to wait and do the bumpers next time because they do take quite a bit of damage. Um, and I think our car, it looks like it's in pretty damn good sh shape to me. Uh, everything should be in like perfect condition because I puttied it all up and did all that stuff. Um, did I charge the battery fully? I, uh, no, I didn't. Okay, we got to charge the battery before we leave. Our health is good. Do we have full fuel? We don't. Okay, so let's gas it up. I think my fuel can in the back is full. Um, and that, you know, that's another thing I want to research too is a, yeah, it's full, uh, is a bigger fuel can. And battery, battery charge. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, speaking of battery charge, do we have, okay, we do have a, a recharger kit in there. Uh, we've got ceiling kits, we got an electrician's kit, we got one thing of putty. I don't think I'll make a mechanical uh, mechanics kit yet. Um, wait a minute. Oh, did I end up making two headlights? Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, let's. Um, I, let's just store it in here so we're not because I've got a I got a problem right now and that is that I'm damn near out of space I got a few more you know smaller spots in here but the locker in the other room is completely full um, and hopefully the game will you know has a solution for that for us later oh wait a minute I made an extra off-road tire too oh son of a bitch okay well in that case we might as well carry it as our spare, right? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Okay. Can we put stuff directly in here? No, we can't. Okay. And out goes the box. Okay. Yeah, I'd almost leave the box there if it was a little bit further, but it's kind of right in the the road there. All right, so I think we're ready to go. Um, we got a couple health kits. We got one food ration and a bunch of little ones. Oh, I think we were, we were going to try out that handheld light, relightable flare. Okay, so. Let's assign this to there. And I'm assuming that, I don't know, did we try this in the last episode? I don't remember. But. Okay, yeah, so let's, um, we'll have this and good. Okay, I think we're ready to rock and roll. And so I'm not going to, my intention is not to do a ton of looting. You know, we'll do some. Uh, particularly, I would really like to hit um, anything that would have chemicals because uh, making putty is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I'm always running out of chemicals for that. And in fact, how many chemicals do I have? Um, in here, I got 12 and doesn't look like there's any in here. Okay. Let's make one more thing of putty. And we'll take that with us. But, uh, uh, what I'm really wanting to get though, is I'm wanting to get more anchor, anchor power or limb power or whatever the hell it's called uh, because that's the thing that we really need to continue researching because this is what really uh, advances us okay <clears throat> so we will be going after all 
of the anchor power, and we'll, we'll do some looting, but I'm not going to go batshit crazy about it either. Does this have anything else more for me? Nope. Looks like Friendly Dumpster is, is done. Okay, do we have any reading to get caught up on? Uh, looks like maybe we do. Uh, what do we got here? Pneumatic deposit box. Yeah, these are those pneuma tubes. I'm not, like, like I, I think I said before, I'm not sure exactly. I, I know we can pull loot out of them, but I don't know how we use them to send and receive. But I'll bet you, um, I'll bet you that Oppie's going to show us that later. Okay, so as far as anomalies go, um, we ran into a seismic squall. Sometimes the very ground itself is the most threatening part of the zone. Something beneath it has changed, and during times of instability, everyone and everything on the surface can be at risk. So apparently we ran into that. Uh, a bollard is the thing that I'm, I've been calling upside-down potholes. Um, let's, let's read this real quick. Uh, yes, Anita, I do agree with you that this is nothing short of remarkable. And yes, I also think that we're seeing what we're seeing here is something new and unique, something unmatched by anything the zone has previously offered up. But I must disagree with your conclusion strongly. I strongly disagree. These abrupt, dangerous, grotesque things are one of a host of bizarre new geological phenomena. They are very likely occur in response to ground vibration or local disturbances. I think that's the end of it. To suggest that they are a deliberate reaction, even a defense mechanism, takes our discussion in a very different and quite uncomfortable direction. I think that's what they are. I've seen that in action. Um, I think we should be reviewing your reports before you submit them. This conversation goes no further, and I'll be scrubbing the transmission logs as soon as possible. Understand? Yeah, right. Okay, yeah, no, these things do definitely uh, react for sure. Okay, a shaker. I think we ran into this in the last episode. Uh, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to remember our esteemed, honored, and oh-so-kind colleague, Eric Gordon. Taken from us far too soon, Eric was a shining light in our lives. Let us remember him for his achievements, his humor, and his grace. Let us remember him how he lived and not how he died. Propelled as he was 600 feet <laughs> into the air, oh shit, by a sudden blast of hot, corrosive slime. <laughs> I know our hearts are all heavy. So uh, today, uh, and we only wish Eric could have also been heavier <laughs> and does not flown quite so far. What the hell am I saying? In the recording. In the recording. That's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, so those are kind of those little yellow cracks on the ground that poof out. And if you step on them, they do launch you into the air. But not 500 feet. My goodness. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dumpster pearls. Uh, I think, I think we, yeah, we already found some of these because I have a couple of these. And it says we're supposed to break them apart. You know, we should actually try that. A uh, door? Yeah, it's a, it's it's a door. Sure. Okay. What can you what else can you tell us about the door? Um charged full of juice. Okay, so this happens when um you know, if we run into something that zaps the car and then it starts arcing and um you there's nothing you can do to fix it. You just have to let it kind of dissipate over time. But it does uh, I think it does cause some damage to the vehicle. Okay. Let's something just occurred to me. Um, we have these pearl thingies. Why don't we? Oh shit! I didn't know it did that. Why don't we break this up and see what's inside of it? That's not. It's not doing anything to it. Or just barely. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> uh, we we got hurt a little bit. That was odd. Okay. Oh no, it's still here. Wait a minute. What? Okay, I'm not messing with this. Hopefully, it'll it will become obvious to us later on. It does have a little shock icon thingy. Slice a pearl in half and you'll find thousands of layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of these apart, who knows what'll pop out. Let's see what happens with this one. That is weird, man. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be damaging it at all. Maybe we need the, uh, the deconstructor thingamadoodle. Um, you know, this matter deconstructor for that. So we'll have to wait till we get more stable anchor power, uh, and then we will make one of those because it's basically like a recycler. 
Okay. These storage things have a little bit of damage, but nothing I'm too concerned about. I think we're done screwing around. Let's go ahead and do this next quest for Oppie. Stabilizing a way through. If you're ready to do this with me, <clears throat> here's a spot of good news. We aren't completely helpless when it comes to the instability. Back when the zone was active, we built ways to get where we needed to go. I need you to head back towards Serum. But don't worry, I won't make you jump into Cappy again. When you're feeling good. up for it, take the route back to Serum. I'll tell you what's next once you're there. Okay, so... The mass hallucination. I can't believe it happened again. I can't believe I missed it. Right. Okay, are you done? All right, so so we have to go through junction E5 before we can get to E1. Um, and so the only thing we're going to do in E5, my plan in anyways, is um, to... Wait. Yeah. Um, my plan is to just get the anchor power and not do a whole lot else uh, so we can get through and get to the quest it's it's kind of challenging uh, for me anyways um, you know to to produce you know the content and keep it interesting for you guys and could and and do all the looting stuff too because there's just so much looting to do but after a while it's you know it's just kind of same old same old so I'm still trying to find a good balance between looting and, you know, and and the content, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, we'll figure it out, though. I, I am very much enjoying this game, I have to say. Okay. So, let's go to E5. Now, even though this was the first zone we went to in the first mission, you know, it changes every time. So, <clears throat> you know, because the, the instability scrambles everything. So, it's never the same exact arrangement as it was the first time, you know. Okay, so what we want to do is let's just stop for a second. And we want to go get these two things of power. So we're right here and I think what we'll do is yeah, let's just go to here first and then we'll kind of assess the situation at that point. This is where we got to get to to get out of the zone though. Okay. Let's do it. I eh, I think that green thing is new. Have we scanned that yet? A beating heart. It's weird, man. It's like a bunch of loudspeakers and stereos and bushes. <laughs> okay. What does it say about that? Um, oh. Car abilities, certain components of equipment that you will install on your car have abilities. Yeah, we already know that. Why are you telling me that? Or is it something different? Oh, here we go. Junctions and access roads. You have to stop at multiple junctions on a drive to a zone. The only way to reach the next junction is to go through the first junction, and we already know that. Okay. Um, a beating heart. Journal fragment. Data unknown. It's been at least two months now, and I'm the last member of our team left out here. Totally lost. I have no idea what day it is, where I am, where I should be headed, even which way might be north. The roads themselves seem to be changing, and those barriers that the government installed open and close with a mind of their own. I don't know if I'm ever going to get out. I've only been able to keep going thanks to magical piles of semi-organic junk that somehow knit the van back together after whatever thing smashed it apart last time around. I can get hit by electricity or dragged into a, th a, a tree ten times over, but these things patch everything up better than any mechanic I ever knew. And then I just drive on into the forest once more, trying the next junction. That's the story of the last living member of the Bug Watch team. Stuck out here forever because we came to record a dumb show about insects. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was it. weird. Uh, locked. Broken keypad. Yeah, okay. We already know about locked stuff, so not sure. Oh, no. Sorry. This is what it's shown us. Unreliable. 
So if we see something with an X in it, it's unreliable. Uh, after knocks and bangs, shocks or surprises, it's to be expected that this poor battered thing isn't quite as at its best. You weren't hoping to rely on it, were you? Okay, so a new status effect. All right, let's uh, head on down the road. We're pretty much just gonna go down that road there. Wrong button. I'm not going to stop and, you know, uh, scavenge basic cars. That's, um... Did we do this car in the last episode? I think... Yeah, this is called the square. I don't I don't remember if I if I showed this to you in the last episode or not, but it's got the armored doors on it and um I think I might uh, I think I might get the hell out of here. I, I was going to say we could use those for um get some steel panels off of them, but not if this stuff is showing up. This will hurt us. We have a semi truck, some kind of army truck here. Let's just leave this running. Oh my goodness, look at all that shit. Uh, a back seat tank? Really? What is this? That's ah, just a crude panel. A liberator. I think this is kind of like a, a salvage thing. Wow. Okay. So, um, let's put, uh, well, no, that's, let's put this here. And I think we can put that here because I put a little back. Yeah. Look at that. So extra fuel. Oh, nice. Okay, because I put that mount there um, earlier, but I wasn't sure what we were supposed to put on it. Very nice. Um, let's also get our light out here, our new flare light. Okay, so yeah, this thing is we use it to salvage stuff. I don't care about the panel or the crude headlight, but we'll take all of the rest of this little stuff. And we'll take a look at this here in a little bit, too, and see what that's all about. Oh, so let's grab this, and we'll take the crowbar, I guess. And we could, uh, we could just salvage these panels, I guess. We'll get some of the parts back, right? Okay, and then let's scan this. An Arda Investigator. Uh, that's an off-road tire. Okay, let's let's try this um, let's try this arc thingy. What is it? Uh, I wish we had better light. Here, let's do this. So, oh, that allows us to, yeah, that allows us to get parts whole. Oh, that's useful. That's a steel door. Um, thing is though, shit, if I would have known that. If I would have known that, I would have 
learn this thing instead and we would have just gone out and looted these tires. Well, not that these tires are real common. Um, I haven't seen a lot of them. I, we don't need two off-road tires, though. And we don't need another steel door, either. So I think we'll... We'll just break these down for the parts. But it's good to know that that's what that does. So if we find something... Well, shit, you guys. The armored door is back on the end of the car. Um... Maybe we should go back there. The arc thingy is not, um... It doesn't have a lot of durability left, but... If, if we could pull some armored doors off that car before this broke, that would be awesome. Um, I think we... Yeah, let's do that. I know... I, I know we're not supposed to be getting sidetracked, but hey, it's me. What do you expect? I'm curious to see how well these tires are going to do on off-road terrain, too. Doesn't this car have any backup lights? So we were, I think we were right, yeah, right here. Okay, let's see if we can get, that's an armored hood. Let's see if we can get the armored door off of here. Oh, it broke. <laughs> Damn it, it broke. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, though. I'm definitely going to um, research and make that as soon as possible so that when we do come across, you know, this higher-end stuff that we can't quite yet make, maybe we can grab it that way, right? Uh, but it, it is worth taking this apart because we get these thermosap crystal thingies and uh, steel plates and all that. I'm not going to do the, the tires. Let's let's go ahead and do this just so we can see what's in the trunk. Yeah, quite a bit of stuff in the trunk. My goodness. Oh, a lead platelet. That's new. Um, yeah, we'll put that right there. Another steel panel. A little bit of fuel in there, too. Okay. Well, it's, you know, it's good, like I said, that we learned about that and what it does. Oh, I should have probably left those back at the base, but whatever. Okay. Put that down there. All right. Let's get back on track here. Yeah, man, if we come across any more of those what do they call it? Investigator or something? In fact, we never... Hold on. Uh, Art of Investigator. I think the reality of so much work, even the work that is about our dreams and our ambitions, the kind of work we have put so much more of our lives and time and energy into, is compromise. My hope was that we could create practical, reliable, mobile laboratories to allow us to better do our jobs. With the zone increasingly unstable, increasingly changing, I thought it was a novel solution. We could analyze many of our findings on site. We could respond to changing conditions in a timely manner, relocating ourselves to study new weather behavior or anomalies. The moment we heard about them, we could work in a safe, secure environment. But now we have this. Slow, clumsy trucks that perform poorly off-road, that lack a dedicated laboratory space, that aren't even hermetically sealed. The lead shielding built into them is too thin. The equipment we've mounted is too old. Budget constraints and compromise mean we've created nothing more than a portable chemistry set. What's more, Arda have named it the Investigator, like they chose the driest name they could think of. And and all this will have to do. Okay. So a little bit of <coughs> backstory on what these things are about. Um, It did say it was lead line, but I know of another place we can get lead, too. Um, 
Yeah, see, nothing, nothing uh, highlights for me to salvage. So, whatever the business was with the lead doesn't seem to apply. Okay. Just checking. Let's go. Um, when we find an, a gas station, we'll stop and fill that uh, back seat tank up. Man, that was really nice that we found that. Uh, did we... Yeah, we already scanned the can opener. I couldn't remember if we had or not. Too many things to try to remember. That's the thingy about the Liberator and Peculiar. Looks like the zone has smiled upon you today. This part will last you at least as long as it holds together. It's just like they say, if you love it, take it out for a ride and then let it go. Okay, sure. Oh, shit, we got a storm coming in. Um, okay. I think our best bet is to just hold still and ride this one out. Okay, the storm has passed. Let's proceed. Just sitting there, I don't think it did any any damage. Uh, nothing noticeable, at least. Wait for the can opener to go by. Oh, there's our buddies. Look at those guys. You know what? Did we ever actually scan them? I've been calling them mannequins, but... Oh, they're called tourists. How interesting. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think to do that last time, but... Oh, that was a hurricane squall that we just went through. Okay. Uh, a tourist. Dictaphone recording. Office of Dr. Richard Preble, circa 1976. Hi, Christina. Hi. How are you? So, um, it turns out that you were right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and, um, well, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, on the roads, on top of signs. One report here says on a roof. We spotted about 600 now. The file catalogs each and every one. Oh, and you're quite right about the other thing, too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on that. Um, so, um, I'm going to be applying for position in Portland now. I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted here, for sure, but I'm not sure I want to work at Arda full-time, you know? It's, um, it's very strange here. You work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing very important work, and I respect that greatly, but I think I'd like to go back to academia now. Oh, God, there's one of them outside. I know for a fact it wasn't there before. <laughs> exactly, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Oh, man, those things are creepy as hell. Uh, okay, oh, tells us about our backseat fuel tank. Um, make sure the car reek gasoline, sometime limited capacity, being about half the size of a regular tank still. Yeah, okay. So, we pretty much know what that does. Okay. Let's proceed. Oh, you know what? I don't think I want to drive in this rainbow thing because it makes my car go batshit crazy. Uh, let's see if we can avoid it. There we go. I think we got out of it. I believe we scanned that in the last episode. I don't remember what it was called, but... Did we scan that thing? A sizzling mist. That doesn't sound safe. Um, I think we have a one of those pneumatic thingy de thing medittles over here. All right. 
we'll take all that stuff. Um, let's put that there, and this can go here. Do I have my hand vac with me? I do. Oh, we don't have any room for those? Shit. Okay. No problem. Let's put this thingy in here. Um. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna keep the... Uh, this thing for now, because we'll, we'll start using those and they break pretty easily. Okay. We can also grab these housings, too. Might as well, since we're here. Give us copper wire and glass and scrap and stuff like that. Okay, I think that's all we can do here. Let's move. Logbook. Sizzling mist. You were right. The presence of concentrated plasma particles in what makes the cloud is what makes the cloud so conductive. This isn't a storm like an electrical storm like we'd expect to find in the skies above. And we do well stamp out such colloquial descriptions. No, this is something else. Something both more intense and yet also so, so much more localized. I think with little time, it'll be quite possible for us to replace some of this behavior in a lab setting, budget permitting. God, isn't this exciting? Our research is finally paying off. We'll get tenure for this for sure. Okay. Let's go. stuff seems nasty. I don't think we want to go anywhere near that. That's... Yeah, that's the same thing, I think, over there. That blue, blue shit. Is this... Um, we can't get in the back of that container. Okay. So the mannequins are called tourists, huh? Oh, interesting. That's just, I think that's just a normal car. Look at those tourists. Bastards. I don't like those guys. Here's our waypoint. So I'm thinking we go get the one down lower first, and then we work our way up to the higher one. Let's do it. Well, actually, this one, this one seems to be more or less on level with us. Oh shit, we're out of gas already? I guess I have kind of been leaving the vehicle running, haven't I? Maybe when we get down lower there, we'll find a gas station. Uh, I can tell though that this actually handles the train a lot better off road with these new tires that we have. Okay, yeah, we're pointing right towards this thing. Oh, there it is over there. I do have... Oh, that's a can opener. Uh, I do have a full gas tank, too, so... And we might be able to siphon some gas out of that car right there. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the engine off. Get 
It's not coming this way, is it? Nope. There isn't very much fuel in here, but a little bit's better than nothing. Yeah, I shouldn't keep the car running so much, obviously. Okay, let's grab this and get the hell out of here. Wrong door. Okay, um, let's look at this. We pretty much just need to go... Uh, let's go right to there, and then we'll... Just go off-road to cross over to the other anchor. We might be able to get a little bit of gasoline out of this car here. Oh, no, I don't think we can. Oh, crap, there's that yellow shit. Let's go. Alright, so we basically want to Take a hard right, or hard left, I mean. And go up this way. Oh, what the... What's going on? Uh... Okay, that was creepy. Not gonna lie. Oh, that, oh, man, there's a lot of buildings here to loot. And even some plasma, too. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna loot these places, guys. I can't just pass this up. Okay. We'll be quick about it. This is probably going to be a bit painful. What I'm mostly... Oh, God, this is not good in here. Uh, what I'm mostly interested in is these things here uh, for the chemicals. Because we need chemicals to make the putty. Um... Let's just eat this right now. There we go. Irradiated foods to heal us from radiation. How's that? Okay, let's get out of here. Could I siphon out of these? Well, oh, there's a lot of gas in there. Yeah, we should try that with our little gas can. Ooh, that's weird. Scannable? That's creepy. Alright, I want this. Oh man, there weren't any chemicals in there. Oh, we need our, um... Oops. We need that electrician's kit to fix that. I guess that was just a little gust of wind. Um, there's our anchor 
stuff too. But let's wait. Let's hold off on that until the end because it could cause things to get really weird on us. As if they aren't already, right? Okay, we need this thingy here to open that door. Nice, we hacked into it. Okay, where's the chemicals? I don't think we got chemicals. We got cartridges and gas cylinders. Sucks. Just basic stuff there. So this is about ready to run out. It says it's relightable. Oh, I know what it, that means. That means we can do this and turn it back off. It doesn't mean it's, you know, it, it doesn't run out. Okay, never mind. Um, let's grab this. And I want to see if we can siphon this fuel out of here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. Well, a lot of fuel in there, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? There's one over here, too. That's good to know. These are like 55 gallon drums, man. Well, maybe not 55. You'd think they'd have a lot more fuel in them, huh? Uh. Oh, our fuel can's full. Going, why can't we get that? You stay there. Don't be coming after me. You're creeping me out. What's that? A wriggling wreck. Okay. That is bizarre. Uh, where was the anchor at? Oh, it's right over there. Okay, let's just go grab that now. But I might... I, I mean, we really kind of need to get going. <laughs> this episode's going to take so fucking long. But this game is just... It's a long play slow burn game man that's just that's just kind of the nature of it all right i'm gonna leave the car running for this just because we might need to get out of here quick this place here. Let's make another one of these lights. Uh, right here. Lightable flare. Okay. All those weird tourists. Oh. Why am, I, why am I dropping that? Oh, because... Oh, okay. Because I have... I still have the old one. Um, Alright, let's just leave that there. This is going to burn out momentarily. Uh, it's one of those transmuter thingies. I don't really care about that so much. There are some chemicals. Beautiful. Like I said, that's what I want more than anything. Okay, that broke. Let's 
go grab the other one. I love it. Poor man's flashlight. Is there another chemical thingy in here? Actually, it's pretty bright in here. We don't even need this on right now. I'm sure there's things I could scrap too, but it, I'm not worried about that right now. I just want to look for loot, lootable stuff. Oh, this door needs some of you. Oh, oh shit, it just goes out. Okay, there was, well, I guess we did get a few chemicals out there, so it was worth it. It was worth the effort. Okay, let's look at our map here. I think, I think we should just go. I mean, I could keep looting forever, really, but we need to just get out of here. So I wonder if we can go cross country to here, and then we can just take this dirt road up to there. Let's try that and see what happens. Off-road tires, you guys. So worth it. Yeah. Okay, is this our dirt road? Yes. going to do is get a little more gasoline. Oh shit, there's nothing in there. Never mind. Maybe later on we can get like some super awesome shock absorbers and then we can go over those jumps without hurting our car. But that day is not today. Um, let's see if that's got any fuel. I'm going to look at it first before I... Eh, it's got a little bit. Since we stopped, we might as well grab it, grab it, right? Yeah, we definitely got to get ourselves a bigger fuel can. How close are we to the border here? Yeah, let, let's let's do get one more little bit of fuel, just so we're topped off, or at least as close as possible to being topped off. And of course we have that new fuel tank in the back. That was such a nice find too. But I, I can't fill that up until we get to a gas station. This will probably top us off. Mm, not quite, almost. <laughs> close enough. Close enough. You know, you gotta be careful of this hood because if you're too close to it and you close it, it'll bump you in the head. Uh, see, <laughs> it actually hurts too. Ah, oh, speaking of which, we're down to 55 health. We should probably do something about that. Let's eat this MRE. I want to save the health packs, and I'm gonna actually eat. I think these give you like six or seven. Or no, they give you eight health per thingy. Okay, that gets us 
almost completely topped off on our health too. Let's go. Can handle corners a lot better with these tires too, I noticed. Okay, we just want to hang a Louie. Oh, can we get... Oh, that's new. I've never noticed a train, a, ra a rail tanker. I'll bet you we can get fuel out of that. Can we scan it? Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a static thing in the environment. There's one of those thingies again. Oh. That's that uh, wriggling wreck thingy. What does it do? I don't know. Maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> ah! Oh, shit! It trapped us. Okay, let's go. It, like, entrapped us for a little bit there. Whew, that scared me. One of those uh, plasma cloud things. There's a the train engine there. Are we here? I, I'm sorry. The curiosity just has got the best of me. I just want to look and see if there's anything about this place. Now well, we can do some basic. But hey, look! There's some putty. That I will take. Definitely will take that. Is there anything about the engine that's interesting? Doesn't appear to be. Okay. Cool. Well, that was worth stopping for just to get a full thing of putty. Indeed. Indeed it was. All right, guys. Um, we're going to have to wrap up that episode, uh, the episode here. It's just... <clears throat> these episodes take so long. And I, I love this game. I'm having so much fun. But it, it just takes so long. And this is a good uh, point for us to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the game here um stop this recording and then start the next one up um and pick up right where we left off so thanks everybody for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video we'll catch you in the next one bye bye